As is tradition, one. when you get promoted Round to diamond, one. as Capture the you object. do, gotta go. you gotta make a video so that you know, I'm not gonna play Sombra for a while and you forget how to do it. So, the way I've been playing Sombra System is just to look at who my tank is and what that tank generally wants me to do, and then just like hope that this tank specifically wants what other tanks of that type want. And Roadhogs want to take a bunch of damage. I mean, not Roadhogs, Zarya. What is Zarya? Zarya wants a Healy totem. So Zarya wants her Anna to be safe. So she wants somebody to distract any flankers from killing the healers. So this early play, I'm just setting up back nearby health packs and then I want to find a healer and be like, hey, I exist, you should be scared of me. And then hopefully they'll be spy checking. So whenever you're going to full commit on someone, you want some idiot to be chasing you. So you got to get people's attention, go far away and then full commit on someone while the first people are still looking for you. And then even if you don't win the full commit, you're occupying at least two or three people's attention. So it's it's a long setup play, but that's that's basically what I'm doing. So I'm gonna, uh, get Joe's attention, translocate to safety, hide underneath the tracer. Never fight tracers, tracers can kill you. Also, um, never fight Kirikos. It's good to hack them and virus them, but then immediately just get out of there because you can't you can't kill Kirikos, they're impossible. So my goal is mostly to keep the Anna and Mercy aware of my presence and then kill the uh, Hog and the Reaper because Hog can't hurt me and Reaper can't hurt me. So those are the four people I'm paying attention to. So now the fight's going on and I'm safe, so I'm just gonna do random amounts of damage to the uh, Hog and the Reaper. I see a res. My tank, I think, is dead, right? Yeah, my tank's dead, so this fight's over, so now it's just a stall, and then we can't stall, so now it's a suicide. Like, I'm just gonna scare somebody and then die. So I'm gonna choose the Anna, make her very scared, and then die. Because I regroup much faster than Azaria, so I should be able to hit the front the same time Zarya does. But I want people to have almost died to me, or to have died to me, so that they're afraid. Because in this game, they don't know whether I'm an assassin or not. So, it's good to scare them. Alright, so now my McCree is holding the left flank with my Mercy, and so all I want to do is hold the right side and play here until my McCree and Mercy get a pick. Because McCree, Mercy, the worst thing that could happen for them is if Mercy has to ditch the McCree to come heal the tank or come heal someone over here. So I'm just going to play super slow and let them get their McCree Mercy shit done. So I'm like, hey, go away, hey, go away, right? I'm not going to push forward, I'm just, I'm then, like, I can't even see anyone. I'm just shooting to let them know that this is not a place that they can push. <laughs> Alright, so I gave them enough time, but my McCree Mercy didn't get a kill, so I decide to flank. This is the, the mantra, right? It's, um, figure out what your tank wants to do and then late flank. So you get two viruses and then a flank. So I threw my two viruses and now I'm flanking. Unfortunately my tank died right when I, when I went for the flank. So this is a reset. And I'm doing a little bit of like stupid resetting because they're letting me, but I'm making sure to stay full health and I'm trying to, you know, slow reset. There we go. So my tank switched to Doom. What does Doom want? Very similar to, to Zarya. Doom wants a safe place to retreat to. He doesn't want me to go with him. He doesn't want me to dive targets. He doesn't want me to get behind deep targets so that he has to dive on them. He wants to be diving deep by himself and then having someone back where his team started from following up on that damage. And then he wants to be able to dive back to his team. So I'm just looking for doom punches and then he retreats and then making sure that when they chase him after he retreated that they don't feel like they can chase him. So I'm shooting them in the back when they're trying to chase him. And this hog is just out of position and he dies. So that's the idea. Doom's always going to go in and then he's always going to go out. So I'm just going to make it sure that he can always go out. There's him. He got slept. And he doesn't need to go out because he's full health. Then, I killed Mercy. Right, so don't push super far up. I mean, this is a 5v2, so I'm, it's okay to push up here. 
Knock, I'm not gonna get anyone, but I was hoping that my team would go. Alright, so uh, I'm protecting the Doom's retreat path and then the Hog ults. But he's uh, anti, so now this is like we killed one, or they killed one, I think. So now this is a bad point situation. You notice how little damage I'm doing. I don't kill anyone, I don't assassinate anyone. I'm just thinking about Doom wants a safe place to retreat, that's all. I'm Incoming! Yes, he's gonna want somewhere to land, so I'm giving him a shift this one. This is a 2v5, by the way. The fact that we killed the tracer doesn't even really matter because we're both gonna die and reset, but because I'm so focused on what is my doom want, my doom just ulted and tried to land on them, and like this is what he wants me to be doing. And that's stupid, so don't worry about doing the right thing. Do what you think your tank wants you to do. That's anyway, well, I think that's the best way to play, but So we lost that round, but Ready I was battle. perfectly I happy with how Evil Doom was to retreat. So next round, same exact thing. Create a safe place for Doom to retreat to. I'm going to play around point here. I'm never going to go past point, and I'm going to say, hey, uh, Tracer and Reaper and Hog, they like to go on point, and then my Doom has nowhere he can retreat to. So if I'm there saying, I'll hack you if you go on point, then they can't. They can't just go in there and heal. <laughs> I heard the Reaper, over here, I the Reaper, push people out for me, stay here. Look how much I'm just playing cover and shooting full health people. <laughs> I know, it's totally useless. But it works great. I can't play like this when I do it with Nick, because this is his style too. So I'm so lucky, I'm all about it. The place I'm standing, see Doom just retreated to it? Yeah, Doom always wants to retreat to this place, so this is the place I'm holding. Pop on. You're not doing so good. Group up, Banda. So I just said group up and then I'm gonna use the 321 emote and I'm gonna EMP the pile. So hopefully people know what Three, I'm doing. I'm not even going to look to see if they one. notice, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> and then, just like any ult, you make this loud noise, everyone's going to shoot at you, so I just immediately translocate out. I don't even try to kill anyone. I'm just like, this is, this is our chance. Do some stuff. <laughs> and it goes great. Tengo que irme. So now it's like a 3v3, but I don't think they want to push point in a 3v3. So holding over here. Don't take it so serious. Somebody call. I missed the virus. She teleports out, but I would have turned it to the not only can I not kill a hero because it's right next to me, actually, I couldn't kill a one hero kind of one hero. That was entirely a bluff, and she fell for it. This is all my point of chaos, and now they finally got it, so I'm waiting for the next setup. Let's try something else. So I notice that they're pushing too far away from point and my team's not going to be able to group up, so I'm like, hey, I'm forcing you to play honest. And then I notice that we just killed their Reaper. And now we're up two, so I'm like, maybe I don't even have to leave. I'm not just going to say. Yeah. And we played the tree, so I'm going to play around it. Yeah. That was worth watching. Yeah, it, was a little bit right. it seems like a big mistake. Our tank died. Fly down. Tracer and I killed the red, so they still have five, I think. And that's a full reset. It's like, okay, this is a, basically just me. I don't 
four people, maybe five people. <laughs> we can still be friends, right? But then we got two. Life protects uh, life. You're fine now. I'm here. If they had non-damage based play the games, I'd say that's play the game. <laughs> I'm so I have my MP, and they have Reaper ult, so I'm just gonna follow it around and make sure you can't Reaper ult. No Reaper ult. They switched to Ryan. I love friendly Doom versus enemy Ryan, it's like an easy win. Because their Ryan can't protect anyone from our Doom. So all I've got to do is shoot the Ryan. Like, our, our Doom's going to keep shooting the healers, and as long as I keep the Ryan with enough health, if their healers have to choose between dying from the Doom and letting the Ryan die, then they're going to die. So the goal of shooting the Ryan isn't to kill the Ryan, it's to get the healers. Because our Doom's going to Ba -ba -ba Easy round. So next Ready round, same plan. Uh, this time, instead of protecting the Doom's retreat path, I'm going to play more of a Healy Totem style, which is almost identical to how I just played, but the difference is that I'm going to pay more attention to where my healers are and just try to always fight where my four, healers can heal me. Healy Totem style three. is Capture better when you have a friendly flanker, like we have a Genji, before we had a McCree. So when we had a McCree, I was like, I'm going to give Mercy McCree time to get their shit done. But now it's going to be doing Genji diving, and so I want our healers to feel like no one can dive them because people are too busy diving me. So it's for your wound. So, I, mean, I don't know why they gave me a free zone kill, and now I'm so low health and I have to reset. And now the fight's over because I killed Zen and then we lost two. Like, oh, yes, there's a reset. Whoops. Somebody call. Gotta go. I don't think they belong in point. Something for the sting. That whole fight didn't really involve me. Like, <laughs> kill the Zen and then reset. Hack complete. All right, now we have a Reaper. Um. So the Reaper's never going to die, the Elf's never going to die, the Anne is the, the person who's in danger, so she wants to play far away, so I'm going to focus on giving them someone that they think they can kill other than Anna. So my goal is to translocate in front of them to places where they think that if they just use a Monkey Leap or a Genji Dive that they can get to me, but then just get healed and be like, haha. <laughs> Again, you died. Now we're up two. So we'll just mop up. Still no match. You notice I'm almost never shooting at anyone with the D Lax dive zone? Because. Uh, I don't want to leave the line of sight of the healers. I want I don't want them to chase Doom because one of the easiest ways on a team with the Doom on it to use is for your healers to be like, oh I can't heal the Doom, let me walk forward, right? So every once in a while I'm like translating back to my healers and be like, you don't have to go in there, you don't have to go in there, you don't have to go in there. My playstyle was always very much about making my allies make fewer mistakes rather than me doing anything useful. So again, putting myself somewhere where both of my healers can easily heal me, so they feel safe playing far back. Unfortunately, I got anti so I just need to die, so That's why I was doing that. You're all good. Catch you later. Black smile, black smile, Hack complete. I am not your soul. Team won the fight without me. Just hacking this health back for the game. I'm actually quite good against May. May is really frustrating because she uses so that I can assassinate the flank. But if I play the Healy Totem style, I'm really sure that she can't heal, kill someone who's being healed. 
<laughs> so as long as you're healable, you can kill an infinite number of things. Ta-da! <laughs> and then the game. <laughs> Thank you. You're mine now. Did I scary? So the obvious criticism here is going to be, okay, we all know that if you basically just leave AFK and your team stumps their team, you can win. But I don't see how you can cause it to <laughs> And all I'll say is that my Doom always had somewhere to retreat to was doable. You know, I played somewhere available, far, far forward, but not as far forward as him. So whenever he left, he left to me, and me was a location where he could get healed, and that's all. That's the only value I provided. I didn't kill anyone. I didn't do a lot of damage. I was just like, hey, this is where you should retreat to. And that's all I did. I can't believe it works, but it does. So, the end. So, before ending, I wanted to go over the, the things that all... That's what everybody wants. Bye.